Hi everyone, this is Heather Lottenen from the Flourish Academy. I'm really excited to dive into the new generative fill in Photoshop. But first, please check out our sponsor, YM Camera, for all of your photography needs. And if you're enjoying these videos, please subscribe, leave a comment, and share with your photographer friends. It helps us to produce more content. I'm currently using the Photoshop beta version so that we can explore the generative AI. You can see all of that information by clicking on this beaker. If you don't see this, you can simply go to window and then beta feedback and it will appear and you can just navigate through here and read about all of the new features. But my friend Teresa sent me this photo and she said, do you believe that I did not see the garbage can? <laughs> Those things are easy to miss. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to begin by using the object selection tool. And I'm just going to hover my cursor over the garbage can. You see that it made a pretty good selection. So I'm going to click there and allow it to create the selection. And then I'm just going to choose generative fill. I'm not going to describe anything in this section, but I'll talk about this a little bit more in a moment. So let's go ahead and say generate and just see what happens. Okay, did it, did it just, change the garbage can. <laughs> and you can go into these properties and select the different variations. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. I'd also like to make a note that while Photoshop is in beta, generative AI features are for personal use only and cannot be used commercially. That's just an important note to make. Okay, so that clearly didn't work. So I'm just going to delete that layer and try this again by using the quick selection tool. But this time I'm going to ask Photoshop specifically to remove the garbage can. Okay, that's interesting. We removed the garbage can kind of, <laughs> but not really. Okay, let's try again. We'll just keep trying different prompts until we figure it out. But I also think this might have something to do with the selection. So I'm going to quick select the garbage can and then go to select in the file menu and modify, expand this selection by 20 pixels. I'm going to say okay to that and I'm going to select generative fill and ask it to remove the garbage can again and see if maybe we get a better result here. Okay, wow. Let's look at that before and after. It rebuilt the ground the stone column and the shadow from the sun. I'd like to see these different variations. You can scroll through the variations by looking at your properties panel or in this floating bar, it says one of three. Of course, my quick select tool keeps selecting. I'm just going to click off of that and go through these again. Personally, I like option two. I think that looks pretty amazing. And I'm not sure what this object is back here, but I'm going to select the background and try to remove it. This time I'm going to press L on my keyboard in order to grab the lasso tool because I want to. <laughs> you can really use any selection tool you would like. I guess it just depends on what it is exactly you are selecting. You'll notice I'm giving myself some room. That way I don't need to expand the selection like I did when I allowed Photoshop to select it. Let's say generative fill. I'm not even sure what this is to say to remove it. So I'm going to leave it blank and choose generate. Okay, that's interesting. I violated some guidelines. This has happened to me a few times recently. I've viewed the guidelines and I'm not sure what happened here. Maybe we should try selecting this a little bit differently. What if I just made a more general selection and asked it to generate? Let's see what that does. Okay, the Adobe AI brain thinks there is something very wrong with this object. I guess we're not going to use generative fill to eliminate it. There are a variety of other tools we could use, but we're going to move on. And I'm just really curious, I'm going to turn off this layer one, how this would work if I used one of the previous tools. So typically I would have selected this. Okay, let's use that quick select tool again. I would have modified and expanded the pixels. And then I would have selected edit, 
content aware fill. So before generative fill, this is what I would have tried. And I'm just curious what's going to happen. Let's just say okay to that. And if we look at the before and after, we can see that content aware fill did a terrible job. <laughs> so I am appreciative of the generative fill. I think that that worked really well for this image. Obviously, you're going to run into limitations. And it's so important to understand the different types of tools in Photoshop so that you can course correct. But I think this is going to be really amazing as they refine it even further. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.